In the first 100 days, we'll open up Lagos accounts, publish it, and ensure that everybody has access to line-by-line -line items of our expenditures, our procurements, and everything financially related to the state. And it will be easy to access, unlike what is currently in the government where the, uh, the website has been down for so long. We are going to ensure that we depoliticize the entire waste management system. We are extremely underserved. There are so many people that have not seen PSP trucks in years. We are going to open it to the private sector. So once you have a truck that meets the requirements, you can enroll very seamlessly and engage and start servicing the people. We are going to also deliver rail systems and ensure that it's carrying cargo and humans. We are going to dredge our waterways properly and we are going to map out our seabed so that the private sector can actually get involved in water transportation. Currently, there is no data. Our local government structure is going to be robust. We're going to ensure we have potential governors as local government chairmen, not what is currently um, available where it's just a place where they reward loyal party men. We're going to also ensure that we open up the Badagri division, the Kurudu division, and ensure that development goes into that area for leisure, for um, ecotourism, and also for, and also for to a large and lengthen the um, aquaculture value chain. Lastly, we're going to depoliticize the entire system of waste management. I've said that already. And if once we do this, the private sector can get in. And then transportation, the BRT needs to be open to the private sector. Currently, it is politicized. And people have to wait for 30, between, te between 10 to 30 minutes for a bus to come. We need more buses. And we're going to open this to the private sector. If you have a bus that meets the requirements, you can use the BRT lane. The idea is that we're not going to have a government whose, whose purse strings determine the level of development. We create an enabling environment for the private sector to actually get involved in infrastructure development. Mr. Gadiba Rhodes, thank you very much for your final comments. And we come 